Julie. I'm Taylor, and you guys are watching Tea Hive. Today we've got a special guest, my younger brother, although not little brother, uh, <laughs> Dana or Chris. We're gonna call him Dana because that's his nickname. Um, and we actually have a fun episode. Dana is unfamiliar with loose leaf tea, and we've got five samples of Wudong tea that we're gonna be tasting and sharing and enjoying together. So let's get to it. All right. So first things first, we want to wish you guys a happy new year. Today is New Year's for us. Uh, you'll probably be watching this in 2018 though, because that's going to be the time when we upload it. But yeah, happy, happy new, new year. year. Woo! <laughs> happy new year, everybody. These are Wudong tea uh, samples that were sent to us by Wudong via Instagram. Um, if you're on Instagram and familiar with like the whole tea um, community on Instagram, it's pretty popular and it's pretty great. Wudong Tea is one of the tea farms that are on Instagram and they contacted us saying that they'd send us some samples. Um, they said they would send them for free, but then they ended up deciding they want to charge us $20 for shipping, which, you know, is kind of weird, but also fine because, mm -hmm. you know, you can, of course we could decline it if we wanted, but we decided it'd be a fun video. Yeah. And these samples are excellent. So we're gonna go ahead and give them all a smell and then taste them from lightest to most roasted. Uh, so let's get to it. Cool. First we got... Yashi Zing. Wait in here. <laughs> uh, another one, Bajan. We'll have Dana try, try to smell that one. Mm. And this one is... Oof. Yu, Yu Lin Zheng. This one's good. It's roasty, but it's like something like a salty. This like one's like more. A butter. Okay, this one's more like floral. I want to kind of hint at jasmine, but almost like a watermelony uh -huh. scent to it. What do you think, Dana? Anything in particular? Um, it kind of smells like uh, eucalyptus tree. Oh. Eucalyptus. Um. Join D. <laughs> I'm doing my best here, I swear I'm not trying to be an ass. Yeah, this good. one's roasted nuts. I can see you go Roasted this. nuts. Try to smell that one, see if you can smell roasted nuts. So again, Dana is completely mm. new to tea. Uh, we've had him try a little bit here and there, oh, but wow. honestly it's mostly just, you know, like half a sesh. It smell <laughs> like a can of nuts. <laughs> so the first tree we're gonna try, tea we're gonna try is a uh, tree. Uh, Yulang Jiang. Jiang. <laughs> Shout out, Julie. So we're gonna be weighing these teas out. We're gonna be using about three grams of tea. Um, these are 12 gram samples, I believe. Mm. That's a pretty color. Yeah. Dude, I haven't had enough tea lately. Not enough tea. No tea today, this is a first sesh today. It's like creamy. Ugh, it's like honeysuckle. Here we go. Cheers. Woo! Woo, buddy! Is it strong? Yeah, it's yeah. strong. Oh, That's potent. I kinda like Ooh. it. Do you? It's almost a little bitter. I think it's you oversteeped really that one. It's really jasmine-y. I think you oversteeped that one. Okay, so... Super light body, not a whole lot going on there at least. Um, it is definitely very jasmine florally. Mm -hmm. uh, not like, you know, there's no jasmine in it, I don't believe. I don't think it's infused with jasmine. What do you think? The jasmine, I think, is uh, kind of in the aftertaste of it. Mm hmm. Yeah, kind of just like sits on your tongue after you've yeah, already drinking it. Yeah, for sure. When you talk about the leaves, and how absolutely stunning they are. Mm -hmm. They're like ribbons. They really are beautiful. Um, like reds and browns and greens, it's like fall inside of a gaiwan. We're pausing now, and we will get back to you on our sixth steeping. We're back, this is number six. We're gonna go ahead and drink it and tell you what we think. Dana, what do you think of the tea so far? You don't seem thrilled on it. I'm really not. Okay, that's fair. I, it's, honestly, it's not one of my favorite oolongs. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a bad tea necessarily, it's just not my favorite oolong. I've had better oolongs. The like, the notes, like the after notes, 
it's like floral and it really sticks to your tongue mm -hmm. instead of it being like smooth you know and like something like something that taper off the floralness mm -hmm. um, where it's like leaving you like mm, kind of like that part and I don't mind the floralness like it complements it you know yeah. so this is number seven and because we have five T's um, to try we're going to just call it at ten and then you mm -hmm. know We'll let you know whether or not it has a lot more life in it, but so far this tea is still going. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely, the jasmine has, I think, been mellowed out. Mellowed out for sure. Mm -hmm. um, it's a it's little not... sweeter, maybe more leaning towards like a honeysuckle note. Yeah, it's not so invasive feeling. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, we are back. Uh, we're at number steeping 10 right now, coming out of the Gaiwan. Um, just about. Just about. And I think that it has mellowed out a lot and actually gotten mm -hmm. a little bit better. Yeah. A lot better. A lot better. You know, I, I feel like it's maybe lost its like flavors and maybe that's why we're starting to like I mean, you're more. on steeping 10. Um, yeah. I think that this could definitely go probably to, well, let's find out here. Yeah, you get between uh, 12 to 15 steeps, I'd say. So the next tea that we will be drinking is the Bajan. This one's a lot less yellow. Yeah, it's more... Orangey. Mm-hmm. Mmm, nice smell. Mm-hmm. Much more roasted. Yeah, go Majorly ahead and... roasted smell. Yeah, oddly, huh? Yeah. It's uh, it's kind of fruity. A little fruity, um, mm. but definitely more like roasted nuts kind of scent that I'm getting. Still really light. Tastes like like IPAs. Really. Like really happy. Okay. Grapefruity. Also. Oh. How I feel about. Yeah. IPAs. That's true, actually. IPAs do kind of have a great fruity note to them. What do you think, Dana? Better or worse than the last one? Better. Better? Better? You like it? Cool. I, I like <clears throat> the aftertaste. The first initial taste is a little... I don't know. It, it just kind of tastes like rinds. Like um, citrus rinds. It's not terribly sweet at all, you know? Mm-hmm. It's that, like, bitter grapefruitness. Hmm. Like you just put, like, grapefruits on a barbecue or something without barbecue sauce. <laughs> Ideally. I don't, I don't know in any case you would put barbecue sauce on a grapefruit. <laughs> I don't think it's good. Yeah, you don't have to put barbecue sauce on something that you put on a barbecue. It's not, like, mandatory. So we just finished drinking one and two steepings. We are gonna come back with the six steepings. Let's see you then. Alrighty, so we're back. We're about to steep number six and um, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm always saying let's do it. I need to think let's of a better catch it. line. Booyah. Booyah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not quite, yeah. Mm, it has a really nice smell to it. Yeah, exactly. I was just about to say, let's talk about aroma here. You know, it's obviously not as aromatic now, but um, yeah, it, it's really, like the scent on all of these teas is pretty killer. Pretty hot. Um, this one's for sure better than the last one, I think. Um, it's, it's completely different oolong. Yeah, it's a. I've never had an oolong like this before, and it's really fun to like have such a grapefruit, you know, like hoppy taste. Even though I don't really <clears throat> like those tastes that much, it's just interesting. It's fun to be in tea. Yeah, it's just like how does this yeah. happen? Okay, I brew this one a little bit longer since it. Well, yeah, that's it. fine. I think that was almost like short. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, now that we're on the seventh steeping, I think you can really get it going. <sighs> I think this is a good tea. We're wrapping it up here. So what we're gonna do is drink eight, nine, 
and we're gonna come back to you on 10 and see where we're at. Yeah. Um, we'll catch you then. So we've got steeping 10 in the Gaiwan. We're gonna go ahead and drink it up. It's a, I really like this tea. Do you? Mm hmm. Mm. This one does taste weedier. This one kind of leans towards that like bready, yeasty taste. Yeah. All right. Well, that was that. I so like that was that Bajan. One. I really like that one actually. Oh, right, I'm just gonna eyeball it because our steel kind of sucks. There you go. A little more, a little more, a little more. Hey. Cool. That looks about right. Oof. This is gonna be good. I know it. I, I know so. it. It's very, very subtle. But like it's this good. Watermelony. Mm. No, not watermelony. All right. So steeping two. Um. It's very light. I don't know if that's because like it's the first brew. Probably. Let's steep this one just for a little bit longer than usual. I can see this tea tasting really milky and like nutty mm -hmm. and slightly buttery but the, like I can taste all those three things but they're so subtle. We will be back on steeping number six. So, so. Where we've got number six here. Um, honestly I think this is a bit light. Yeah. Um, it's been, I'm not sure if it's, we've, I mean, we've been using... Might be doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah. So, in this brew, we are going to brew it a little bit longer. The color looks a little darker, so... Mm -hmm. Maybe With that will indicate a little bit stronger brew. What do you think, Dana? Um, kind of tastes like potato bread. Potato yeah. bread? Kind of like Kind of starchy. starchy. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Turn up. It's not so like obvious though. You know, you you really gotta search for it. Nothing that jumps out at you. Yeah. It's a really subtle one. I'm not that impressed. I actually don't think that we need to continue. Yeah, because by time. Just fairness. I mean, we've got a lot of tea to go through, so. Let's try the uh, Wudong uh, Mila Zheng. Yeah, I think this one is really, has a really beautiful scent. Kind I, of like- I still think it smells like cashews. Cashews? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Like, um, raw cashews or cooked cashews? Roasted cashews. Roasted? That makes sense. I gotta smell the, the leaves to confirm that, but... It's kind of florally like a rose. I don't know if you... Like Dana. Steeping one. Let's give this a taste and, uh... Mmm, smells so good. <laughs> the color of this, though, is really pretty. Of, like, the actual... Mm -hmm. the yeah, cooler. it's like, reminds me of a sunset. Like a really, like, red-orange sunset. Ooh. Warm. A little bit. <laughs> Go ahead. Right, all right, all right. Go. 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 Anyway, you guys can catch us on Overwatch too. If you guys play, let us know in the comments below. We'll play <laughs> yeah. We are back on number seven. seven. Uh, the camera stopped recording, so what you know, can do? whatever. Anyway, y'all should play Overwatch. So we're drinking some Wudong Milang Jing. This is steeping seven, and this is probably the favorite so far out of the bunch. Um, you know, one of the favorites. I think this one because the flavor lasts a lot longer than the uh, second mm -hmm. one. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely. It's definitely that, that peachy. Yeah. It's not terribly sweet, but it's definitely kind of. It's like this fragrant, um, ripe peach. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I don't know. think it's like really. I don't think it's, it's gonna not change. Gonna get much it better. is a lot lighter now, but. I can see it, you know, last in a couple seasons if we we were just drinking this tea. I could eat vanilla wanted. cookies with this. Ooh. So we've made it um, through four teas. Um, we're gonna do the last tea. It has been a long tea day. We're gonna do one more tea. Yashi Zhang, which is the dark shit oolong, which is supposed to be the top shelf stuff. They actually sell on their website multiple variations of duck shit, like grade-wise. Um, I don't know which one this is. 
but I have tasted it, and it tastes great. Alrighty. There you go. Badoo. Now we get to feed our buddy. We haven't been feeding our duck pet. Mm. Yeah, it smells like that one time when I was at the park and the duck was flying over. <laughs> Shut up. It shouldn't smell like duck shit. <laughs> Not so good. Ah, this stuff's amazing. You know, it could have been the duck shit that I tried originally that I just was like in love with. The aroma off of just the dry leaves of this stuff is spectacular. And the aroma off of the wet leaves is also spectacular. So much better. Mm. This is the best tea. Ooh, Dan, drink it. The body is like so much more. Don't full. say it flavorless. I want to see what Dan is. Okay. Everybody stare at Dana. I don't know. It's okay. Think of like broader terms. Maybe like, is it creamy? Is it not creamy? Is it... It's almost um, brothy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I agree. It's a good descriptor. That is a good one. It's a little oily. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, right, that's what I was getting at. It really coats your mouth. The body is like a lot more full than the other ones. It's just, it's got so much more body to it. It's really a good, a delicious, like, this would be my go-to. If I were to buy more tea from Wudong, I think I would go straight to that one, and I would buy a lot of it. Um, yeah, not to say the other ones aren't good, I think this is just the best of the bunch. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I feel like I have rant. like three oolongs picked out of this. Like three out of five, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still three out of five too, but. There was two, in, yeah, I agree. I think I can, I, I can completely agree that two of them were kind of like, yeah, they're meh. Yeah, and one of them I think it was just like personal preference, <clears throat> you know? Yeah, and that's gonna, like, I mean, again, that's gonna <clears throat> completely, it's always <throat> personal preference. It's always flavors and um, aromas are going to be personal preferences because it's based on your memories, taste your taste buds. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, if you have a good memory of, of, like a childhood candle smell. Yeah, exactly. If it's like it smells, oh, this smells like the candle that my mom always burned or whatever. Like I could be like, wow, this tastes nasty and, and perfumey, but mm -hmm. you know, Dana might say that it tastes, you know, it reminds him of that, and so it's pleasant. This is steeping three. Yeah. So we just poured out steeping three. We're gonna drink them up to seven. We're gonna get back to you guys and tell you how <laughs> it goes, and then we're gonna drink with you until ten, and call it a day. All right. Catch you then. Okay, so we're back. We are drinking the seventh steeping of the duck shit. Yashi Zheng, which I'm hoping is the duck shit. I'm just, I kinda, I don't know that for a fact. That's true, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure it is though. What do you taste? Cause like, I taste something very distinctly. Dana? Still stuck on that celery boat, man. Celery, okay. What I'm tasting in here though, it, I think it's the initial taste. It's not really the like majority of the taste that you get from this, but it tastes malty. I'm kind of getting more malt, but so what I'm getting is like a just obvious baked bread. Like it's very wow. obvious to me. Baked bread. Yeah, and that's what I was You're getting. You mean baked bread, huh? You mean like fresh, freshly baked, baked bread. bread? That is what I'm trying to say. Like if you're walking into a bakery a bakery and it's just mm. it's got that aroma you're like whoa this smells wonderful that's what this tastes like okay and it has completely transformed into that fed alrighty cheers 10th steeping cheers everybody happy new year happy new year happy new year's eve yep that, that's the one <clears throat> That breadiness is Here's really to 2018. Out. Here's to 2018. Hopefully. No, 2018. You're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you got him. <clears throat> I got a different taste coming in. I don't know what it is. Here it comes. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still definitely. Multi grain bread. It's like. Multi grain like bread? Yeah, totally. with like all this flax seeds in it and stuff. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I can kind of see that. All right, so we've drank all five teas. Uh, I liked a good portion of them. Julie, what do you think? Yeah, a good portion. And Dana's new at tea, so what do you think of oolong in general? Now that you've had five different varieties. 
Um, like compared to, you know, green tea or, or white tea or black tea, where do you think it stands? I still think black tea is my favorite. You like black tea the most? Okay, yeah. that's Ool fair. Oolong's pretty on par as green tea in my opinion. Right, so we're gonna go ahead and let Dana pick uh, which one he finds the most delicious. All right. Actually, no, let's go with worst. Worst? Worst first. Worst? Let's do that. more fun. Yeah, do it. Or All right, here's the floral one, man. The jasmine. Okay, this one, right. The Yulang Jing. So this one, we I think we can all agree on, was a little bit too floral. Um, not necessarily a bad tea, but again, mm -hmm. we're always trying to avoid floral teas for whatever reason. Um, it's just not... I work in a nursery. I don't want to taste it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not my favorite. Um, I really like more milky... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Fruitier teas. But overall, um, the you know, the scent of this was actually really great. The, mm -hmm. the aroma was pretty good. The aroma, yeah, I wish yeah, I the smell aroma was like awesome. It. And the tea leaves themselves are really pretty. So the next one, uh, my second least favorite, <laughs> mm -hmm. sure, yeah. uh, would be the, the Zhongdai. Uh-huh. It was just, I don't know, it's, I like... I don't like drinking trail mix. It's just not my thing. Hmm. Where are we at next? So your third least favorite. We'll call it the middle ground tea. Right. <laughs> yeah, let's the, see the, it. the standard. Yeah. This is gonna be the duck shit. Really? I yeah. thought it was good. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Well, that's okay. you're wrong, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so <laughs> please let us know. It was you would have a good argument here, so <laughs> oh I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Yeah, good. It just, I don't know. It, it was good, like the first two to three. Uh huh. Uh, and it kind of fell. Uh, it was over steep, so that could have really taken away from the, you know, uh, the next. It tastes like celery after that. Just, steepings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Where are we at next? The. Uh, this one. Wudong Mi Ling Jing. Li Jing. Yeah. That, okay. Yeah. So this one was like a peachy, um, yeah, peachy, peachy kind of like charcoal muddy, charcoaly. I did like that floral. one too. Mm -hmm. I think that the texture wasn't nearly as good as on the duck shit, but why do you think it was your second favorite? Um, it had good flavor and it lasted yeah, long. Yeah, it did last quite a while. But it just, it wasn't um, as abrasive as I wanted it to be. Um, not a, I guess not abrasive, not as forthcoming with flavor. Okay. Okay. Sure. It okay. lasted long, but it wasn't as strong as I Right, it, wasn't, it didn't have a big of a punch. No. Okay. All right, and your most favorite tea? The Bajin. Bajian. Bajian. Okay, nice. That was the grapefruity, um, it was pretty, it, uh, it kind of leaned towards bitter, I want to say. Mm-hmm. Um, it's almost a bittersweet. But you know, just mm -hmm. like grapefruit is, so it was pretty delicious, yeah. Yeah, Bittersweet. this one had a really good aftertaste, too. Uh -huh. well, only downfall to it was that it only lasted about five steepings, steepings. until it kind of went away. Yeah. What do you think, Julie? I mean, yeah, the, they're kind of... I kind of just want to be like this. Okay. <laughs> you sure. know? Because they all kind of... They're so unique, and yeah, they're good in. I only they like and uniqueness. Ways. Like if I had a skill <clears throat> out of uniqueness, I would do it like this. <laughs> because we can order this in many different ways. <laughs> but like, I've never had such fruity oolongs. Okay. And I've never, and like in general, like I've never had such fruity tea. Like I've had fruity tea, but these is. This is so fruity. Uh -huh. Like you, you put the fruit in here. Um, <laughs> so I just took a needle, extracted it, <laughs> and then you put it in the leaves. Um, and I find that really fun. I feel like I drink teas to like explore all the different flavors they can make, and that's so fun. Yeah. Um, I think that this is a super fun, um, like little sample pack. If I were to buy more tea, it would definitely be of these one of these three. Maybe two of those three, um, but yeah. If you guys have the opportunity just to buy, you know, some samples, I strongly recommend it. The issue was like the shipping is pretty pricey. 
It, it got here quick though. That is important to yeah, say. Yeah, it did. It was in China. It got here in like two weeks, which for China shipping is incredible. Usually it's like a month or two mm -hmm. before it gets here. Oh, so it in all fairness, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in all fairness, um, it was relatively quick shipping. So yeah, you know, there's that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these ones were really fun. I liked them. And I'm really Would happy. Recommend. Yeah, I'm really happy what we got out of the bunch. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Well, with that said, uh, I think it's important to remember that this is not a review. Um, we are simply giving our thoughts. There are so many factors uh, when it comes to brewing tea gung fu mm -hmm. style. You can't even get to know the tea. A sp yeah, first of all, these samples aren't really big enough to know the tea. Um, so, you know, you really got to play with it. Um, steep times, temperatures, leaf ratio. Mm -hmm. This was kind of our first real sesh with them. So overall, fun teas. Totally check them out if you can. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more of our videos, please hit subscribe. And if you guys have tried any of these teas yeah. or tried uh, any teas from Wudong Tea, let us know in the comments. Tell us how it went. What you think about it, what you liked about it, what you didn't what like you about it. What you didn't like about it. It's always fun. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye!